What is your light in your life? There was a moment when I couldn't figure out what life was all about. My time was valuable to others, but it was not valuable to me. I wondered, why do I have to live with such meaning? To simply put, why am I still alive? What am I living for? Before diving into the kitchen, take a look at these plants that are attempting to bud out and grow. The plants work extremely hard to produce new leaves. They even have roots growing in each stem. Sometimes they have to grow their roots in the water due to a careless mistake by its owner like me. I severed the stem by accident while filming another video. <laughs> Silly me. Getting back to the main question, let's rephrase the question. From why to how and change the subject from me to the plants. Let's say I'm not wondering why I'm alive. But what about the question of how do plants live? Photosynthesis, in fact, is the crucial reason. Plants require light to produce energy for growth. Plants grown indoors require more hours of light than those cultivated outside. That is why I have created this video, Lighting Options for Indoor Plants. Most indoor plants require 14 to 18 hours of good amount of light each day. On the other hand, the reality of growing them indoors is rather different, not an optimal condition like our daily life. Life is not easy. The life of plants resembles human life in that sense. You need to put your effort on achieving something good for you. This Jirina stretched her stems and branches to reach for the sunlight because she isn't getting enough light. This causes the leaves to grow farther apart and my zebrina to appear less lush and healthy. She already tries her best. In order to help, we must alter the environment to address this problem. My plants are craving more light. Fortunately, I have an almost new IKEA light that I'm not sure where to put. And I have another second lamp stand that I use to give them extra light. So what exactly do you need to do? Now is the moment to get your butt moving. First, I decided to give direct light to save this zebrina because the rest of my plants are thriving well. Because the bulb is just 2 watts, I will position it directly on the leaves. Zebrina loves strong indirect lighting. And this square-shaped lighting will provide some light to the remaining plants. 
until I get an indoor plant growing bulb or another set of lighting. After you've set up your lightings, it will be a piece of cake. Simply connect the light to the outlet. Then it's finished. Wait, the monitor was blocking the lighting at this angle. That lighting needs to be rearranged. It now looks much better with a cozy atmosphere. The more lights in the space, the brighter it will be. To cut a long story short, we all require light in our lives like these plants. That is the key for today. What makes you to grow? Friendship? Trust and love through interpersonal relationship, self-confidence and self-esteem through work. If you have already tried hard, you need to get a help from others for changing your environment. Or change something very small so that you can do it easily. This morning, I worked on rearranging the lighting solely for my plants. Now I'm really happy with myself and even proud of myself. Plant raising can be a less expensive choice than you think for rekindling your passion for life as a small step. The next step is to keep up track of each plant's progress as if it were your life. Now, what are the things you can change in your life?